Right, welcome back everybody. Today we're working on these Yamaha Thundercat 600 carburettors. Um, when they was on the bike, one of the carbs was letting by. I think it was um, this one to be fair. So I presume it's got a sticky float in there. I'm not too sure. But before we get started on uh, cleaning these, I try to give the outsides a bit of a clean down first. As you can see, they're covered in crap and the... Uh, it's just good to start on the outside, get everything clean, and then once we start stripping down bits inside, I've got the ultrasonic cleaner set up there, ready, so we're going to start stripping these down now. I'll just give them a quick clean, and then we'll start getting uh, stuck in with these, so let's get started. Right then, so as far as going to strip the carbs down, I don't think I'm going to separate them off of the the rail here i think what i'm going to do is just take the bottoms off the carbs we'll check the floats and uh, the jets and everything and we'll just go from there i said i don't want to start actually separating them individually so last thing you want to do is strip these bolts oh blimey Look at the state of that. Now if that's what's happening in this one, that's obviously why the, the float is getting stuck. Bloody hell. I've never had one that bad before. And that's just the first one, so... Yeah, so let me just um, get these other caps off and I'll come back with you. And then we'll see what sort of state we're in. Right then, as you can see, I've actually blown a lot of that crap off now. So, it was uh, terrible really, look. Every single one of them. It's like crystals. A lot of corrosion around these jets as well. So hopefully we can get these out without any hassle or any breakages. So what we're going to do now is we'll start stripping them down one by one and see what's uh, going on inside the carb. So first of all, I'll get this. I'll just start to give them a little bit of a tap because there's a bit of corrosion in there. And uh, hopefully, yeah, we've got that, that's good. So we can just, uh, we'll take that right out of that screw. So there's that, we'll put that in front of that one up there. Needle seems to look all right. I will just drop that in that bowl for now. I will get myself a, a flat headed screwdriver just so we can take this jet out. Right then, so we will just undo this uh, jet here. Oh, that's come undone, that's a good start. And it is actually clear, you probably can't see through that. Oh, you can, just about there. It's not focusing very well. There we go, look, you can see straight through there. It does want a little bit of clearing out. There is a bit of crap on the side. Uh, and we'll take this right out as well. You can get that to fit. There we go. I'm going to get all these parts out so we can give them a proper clean yeah that's well gummed up around that it's not focusing the best here you can't hardly see any of them holes through there bit of work to do with this carb all them jets looking up at the light all oh, well and truly blocked. So that's another one out there. Right then, so I'm just going to uh, take this little screw out here. Give that a tap in. There we go. A lot of corrosion on these screws. You just get your long nose pliers and they should uh, pull out like that. Bit of crap around there on that filter. So we've got a mesh filter there. You can see it's a bit gummed up there. So, do that and get your little screwdriver here. You want to wind this in and count how many turns it is. So, it's normally about two to two and a half out, these are. So, 
we'll go in half one one and a half two yeah that one's fully in two so that, we've got to remember that's two out then so we can take that right out now and just remember that it's two from fully wound in and there we go that doesn't look too bad in there so I'm going to go ahead now and get the rest of these stripped out and I'll come back to you. Right, and as you can see, I've stripped them out now. I've got all the jets out and everything. Uh, all the gubbins are out. The only thing I can't get out is these two brass um, little filters and they actually look like uh, that. But I've actually uh, dropped a load of carbs way down there and shot through with the airline and these filters actually go through to here and I've actually took this pipe off and I've glued directly out of there and I'm getting the, the carb spray shooting back and mist straight back out. So I'm happy that they're cleaned out. I've blown them through both ways. So I don't want to start creating hassle there. Then the screws are a bit corroded and they're starting to chew the head. So before I actually do any damage to them screws, I'm just going to stop there. So I'm happy that they're cleaned enough now. I will go ahead. I've cleaned all these uh, cups out now, as you can see. They look a lot better than they did when they was looking like that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to place this to one side and then we'll start cleaning all the, the main jets and everything up now. So what I'll do is I'll do a couple of them on the camera and then I'll come back to you once we've uh, all cleaned up, ready for refitting. Right then, so I'll just show you this uh, main jet here. Uh, as you can see that's uh, well corroded up there you can't see any of the jets and this is what it should look like that's what we've got there and that's one I've just cleaned up there and you can see directly through all them holes on that one on the right look and that one there on the left you can't see nothing I'll say I'll do this one because it is a bit of a tedious job filing out all them holes so I'll do this one on camera so you can see what it involves and then I'll get the rest done because it is a bit of a time consuming job. First of all, I will just uh, spray it with a bit of carb spray to get all the green off, loosen anything up that's on there. And then we've got a set of uh, files here and all you've got to do is a matter of just uh, poking them through just to give them holes a bit of a clean. And just do that all the way around. There we go. Just give them a bit, of, a bit of a clean out. What I tend to do is I do uh, one side, then I'll turn it around and come in from the other side, just to make sure that we've got everything out. So I tend to just hold it with a set of uh, long nose pliers, just so you don't stab your hands. There we go three there, there's one down there, that's a bit of a job to get through that one, there we go, just give it a clean out, another one there, and then just turn it a bit, you want to come through this way. So you should be doing it on four sides this. And so I've never had a carburetor uh, this bad before, not even through working on the lawnmowers. And then I'll just come back and give it another, just another blow with the carb spray. Shoot down the end, just mind your eyes. And then I'll get the airline. And then what I'll do then is I'll just get a bit of a scotch pad and just clear all this corrosion off here. So I'll just get that now and clean that off and then I'll be back with you. And there we go. That's uh, one jet fully uh, cleaned down. I'll say just remember just to give it a clean off with a bit of a wire wall there like we got there. That's a scotch pad. But that now it's like a, it's a new, new like a new jet. So... I'm happy with that. I'm just going to go ahead and get all the other ones cleaned up 
all the holes are unblocked you can't really see through this light in here but yeah so let me just get the other ones done right then so i thought i'd show you now just putting this last one back together so got me a little filter here just make sure that's all cleaned because that's where your um needle runs up and down your float we're just so we'll just drop that back in its little seat there and that gets held in with this screw here. I did give these screws a bit of a clean up the best I could. So we'll just get that in. That'll just hold that in. I'm just going to quickly whiz these through once, one final time, and there we go. So we can drop that back in now, and just nip that up with a 8mm spanner, you've got to go too mad with that. Yeah. Just go steady with it. You don't want to cross thread nothing in there. That's the last thing you want to do. We can drop that in there. There we go. And then you just remember, you want to wind this one all the way in, and then we two screw two turns out. So just until it butts up, that's it there. So on half a turn, one turn, one and a half turns, two. So that's where where we started at. So we'll just stick our float in now. Get in your needle in the seat. Let me just get your bolt there. Just uh, nip that in. Making sure that's where it wants to be. And there we go. One the uh, carburetor. We'll just put the caps on now and I'll stick that breather pipe back on and uh, that should be pretty much ready to go back on the bike. So let me just put these four caps on. Right then, so that's the carbs all back together now. As I say, if I was keeping this bike or it was a restoration project, I would have took all these carbs off individually and dropped them in the ultrasonic cleaner, but a few of these screws uh, are a bit seized and I don't want to create a job for myself where I start chewing heads off so so yeah what I've done here today is just a basic um, carb service really and uh, you see the state of it all that was in there I mean that's just some of the crap that I got out of it that so there was a bit more than that but I say all that in the carb is no good at all so it's gonna be a hundred times better than it was when it started so that's all uh, ready to go back on the bike now I'll probably be doing that tomorrow, so that'll be a few seconds for you because it's getting a bit dark out there now. It's about four o'clock in the evening and the uh, nights are drawing in a bit. And obviously I've got no power in the polytunnel, so there's no lighting in there. So I'll nip back in the morning to refit these and hopefully we'll go for a start up. So I'm going to go and call it a night, but I'll see you in a few seconds when we go back and get these fitted on the bike. So see you in a minute. Right then, so it's the next day now. Uh, what we're going to do now is I put the carbs out here. And hopefully we're going to get these fitted back to the bike today and uh, hopefully we'll go for a fire up. I did uh, just have a look at the exhaust because when we did first run it, I did think there was a bit of a blow down there. So I just had a look and the exhaust weren't actually bolted on it, it was just resting on. So I've nipped the clamps up for that and uh, hopefully that should have sorted that issue out on the blowing exhaust. So what we're going to do now is we'll just uncover engine. Uh, I actually found an old 10p there when I was taking the carbs off sitting in the engine bay there. So. We've got a bit of money back on the bike already. So let me just bring you in. So this is where we left off. Uh, since this video, this bike has had an oil change, uh, spark plug change, fuel um, 
boil filter and the air filter so it's all done now it will be getting a, a flush through with a brake um, system and we will be doing a coolant change on it as well so what that's for not for now so what we're going to do now is we're going to hopefully get these calves back on and uh, fire this thing up right then so i've got you in a bit of the best position i can so these can be a bit of a nightmare to go on so just get them lined up i might put me a uh, throttles cable on first and that get them all fitted first might be the best bet while i can get around them all still right that's the um accelerator all connected up so what we've got to do now is we've got to line these carbs up just look down and they can be a bit of a bugger sometimes or sometimes they go on nice so i don't know what we're going to get with this one oh that's some clip pin oh that weren't too bad that's them uh, done so we'll just have to nip them up after so we can start connecting all the pipe work back up go on there you go uh, what else we got we've got the plug there to connect that's that done um, a few more plugs down here to do so that one goes up to there that throttle that chokes a bit sticky that so i might have to uh it's because i haven't nipped the screw up in it that's what it is pulling back on itself i haven't done the There we go. So that's all working as it should. That's all working as it should. So I think we can go ahead now. Hopefully go for a little uh, start up. Oh, it looks like that tap's not um, actually working there because that tap is set to off and it's still leaking petrol out. Turn it to on. Yeah, that tap's not actually doing nothing there. So as I say, that tap's not doing anything. So we'll just get that on there for now. We'll get the turnpipe connected back up. Go on, on you go. That's that. And I'll just connect the uh, power up for the fuel pump. And hopefully we've got enough life left in this battery to uh, give it a fire up. I'll just drop that down there for the minute I say. Got it fully on properly. So we'll give it a bit of choke. Let the pump prime up. Because that'll be empty. Right, so that's that. And now the battery's going flat. Right, so the battery went flat then, so I've just got my dad's uh, jumper pack and I've also took the um, fuel tank back off because I thought the state of them carbs and I checked in that fuel tank and it don't look too clever in there so we've just rigged up a little temporary fuel tank on here now so I'm just going to uh, push this button to get this booster pack in action uh, put the choke on and uh, just open this up, just make sure your uh, fuel tank is higher than your carbs, so let's give it a go. There we 
to go. Um, no cable there, so I would have to just uh, lubricate that up, but it's sounding sweet now. I did sort of need cool stuff, I don't know if I didn't say earlier on in the video. Well, it does sound nice with that end can on it. it takes for a bit of a round. It was uh, loose there, and uh, this bracket just under here wasn't actually done up either, so done them both up. Look who's arrived. Hello, Hello. 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 So what I'll do next is I'll get that um, fuel tank, we'll flush that right out. I'm going to do a coolant change on it and we'll do a, what's it called? Brake fluid. Brake fluid flush on it as well. So, well that won't be in this video. This was just a carb strip down and uh, getting it running. So it sounds all right now and we probably will wire in here. We'll just check the uh, tension on the chain as well there. So yeah, I'm going to leave it here for this little video. And uh, if you haven't already, go over and check Retro Restore. Butler's well, Empire. Check me out. Yeah. I'll be clearing that little mess in the workshop. My half was clean. Your half? Your half's in here. Eh? Well, this is the summer project. That's the winter one in there. So until next time, we'll see you about.